Hello and welcome to another video. We've just arrived in Nusa Penida. We spent the last two days in Ubud, so that would have been in the last vlog. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. We absolutely loved Ubud. But anyway, so we got up and we had a quite a busy morning, hence the horrible hair and bare face, but we just had no time to really get ready. So it's all natural for today. But we arrived in Nusa Penida. We got the a little ferry, booked it online this morning. It was all last minute, but we're here. And we got picked up and taken to our hotel. Staying in Authentic. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's really, really, oh, I just have no words. I can't believe it. Um, Absolutely gorgeous. So we're here for the weekend. It's Friday now and we leave on Monday to go back to Bali. We're going back to Seminyak for the last part of our trip. But we're going to be taking us along here now that we are in Nisa Panida. Um, I just can't wait. Wait till I show you the room. Welcome. <laughs> this is gorgeous, yeah, isn't it? So cool. It's literally a little tree house. Leave my phone there. Oh, imagine waking up to this tomorrow morning. Beautiful. So there's like a fridge, a clean water dispenser, some snacks, big bed in the middle, towels that took our bags down and everything. And then AC some information about places to eat in there and the bathroom so nice it's all open this place is called authentic and we got the guy to pick us up at the port um, it was crazy busy down there but I just messaged on Airbnb and organized pickup so they were super super helpful it's gorgeous I just can't get over that view like you know when you book something based on pictures and it's usually like a catfish this is literally unreal I can just imagine trying to keep creepy crawlies out of here is going to be a challenge but it's just oh it's so cool and we were told not to feed the monkeys because they do come around but not to feed them or else we'll end up in our hut <laughs> so we better not do that I actually cannot believe this view it is stunning I just cannot wait to wake up tomorrow morning Connor it's, yeah. it's gonna be unreal just look it out but I thought um, Ubud was loud with all the chickens and that that were walking all night but this is so loud already it's all the monkeys and the rustle and bustle but we're, we're literally I know we are literally in the jungle it's just unreal oh, and it was still this is the probably the most expensive one that we booked and um, I'll leave the price here I can't remember off the top of my head but it's still for this I mean it's really not bad at all but we are absolutely ravenously hungry I didn't even have breakfast today, I just had like two little energy bars. It's five o'clock now and um, he's starving as well. So we don't really know how to get around yet. We're going to rent a scooter for tomorrow, but there's no point um, now because it's like the evening time. So the guy at reception, he said that there are some places that do delivery, so just WhatsApp them. So Connor's just trying to get in contact with someone now to get some food delivered because we are so hungry so yeah I'll update you when we get the food fingers crossed it won't be too long look at the monkeys <laughs> food has arrived it looks good I got some prawn Balinese dish and some gado gado it's like vegetables and a satay sauce Connor got some what's that garlic garlic bread and a club sandwich and a club sandwich and cheers <laughs> we're just a bit I don't think we're gonna get to sleep. Can you hear that rain? Oh my god. You can see the outline of the rain in the door. Look at this. Like that's all the rain. I hope to god it doesn't come in. I feel like it's gonna like take flight or something I'm down the mountain. <laughs> Good morning, Connor. Good morning. 
What a gorgeous view. How'd you sleep? Not great <laughs> at the beginning. No, it was an absolute hell of a thunderstorm. No, I thought it was amazing. It's so relaxing though. You know what I thought it was? You know mm -hmm. if you're ever like walking and you have an umbrella <laughs> and then just the noise of the rain hitting the umbrella, that's what it felt like for us if you have your hood up. That's yeah. what it felt like the whole night. It felt like it was awake. Yeah, but it's so nice because I was so cozy in the bed and like you just hear the rain and then all the rustle and bustle outside. It was so relaxing. And then a monkey decided to like... Oh my God. I don't know what we seen out there, like that was closed down and there was a shadow. We were both just lying looking at this thing moving and we could see like a tail, but it wasn't squawking or anything. Oh my God. Was it was the monkey yeah, then. It was probably in the shelter just... Yeah, no wonder trying to keep a bit dry, but I thought it was class and I, I slept so well, so comfortable. Breakfast has arrived, looks good. Mm -hmm. Floor is a bit wet. Oh, wow. So we got eggs and some kind of tomato thing, some fruit some breads and coffee and what's that probably passion what's it's a mixed fruit drink so it's like melon watermelon dragon fruit maybe yeah dragon fruit nice heroin no no <laughs> we're all ready to go for the day um we we're just gonna get on the moped now we hired one connor's got the helmets but look at the pool it's absolutely gorge this is so pretty so you have to wash your feet on aqua because I'm wearing shoes, but oh, so nice. We'll definitely come back later and relax definitely. by the pool. Hopefully it just doesn't start raining again. I feel like we might be okay now for a few hours, so we're gonna go and start exploring. Was well, your one? Oh, was it? Yeah. No, I think it I had. It doesn't fit my neck. Head's too big. We just seen a little chicken run around there. I wonder, will I see him again? Yeah, down there. Oh, they're so cute. sitting here having a little coffee oh my god it is so humid like we were, we were just, just sitting here through my t-shirt <laughs> we're just sitting here dripping like it's it's warm but it's not too hot and um, the sun isn't too aggressive but it's just so humid it's so oh, sticky humidity is ridiculous yeah but um oh my god billabong what's it called again Billabong, Angels, Angels Billabong, Billabong yep. that's where we are and we went to the Broken Beach, it's around here as well, so beautiful, Unreal. oh my god it was, it's gorgeous and we got, um, Connor got some nasi garang and I got a nice big coconut just to rehydrate because we didn't bring enough water with us, no 1.5 litres wasn't yeah, enough, definitely not, we're gonna go back, we're gonna make our way back to the Airbnb and then I'm gonna head to the gym well, Nicola starts getting ready. Yeah, well, I'll probably lie at the pool for a while and go in for a swim to cool off. And yeah, then he's gonna come back and we're going to a nice place. What's it called again? Um, I can't remember. I have no idea. But you'll see it in a while. It's a nice restaurant that the hotel recommended and it's a really good place to watch the sunset. So I'm excited for that. But the journey here, oh wow. 
the road is crazy so so narrow um, and you definitely would need transport if you come to Nista Panita because yeah, it's, it's so broken up very spread out and um, like nothing's really near anything we thought we were just in a really isolated part of the island but the whole island is completely broken up so you definitely need um, a moped or just book a driver but the road to get here is so crazy it's basically a walking path yeah and, and there's cars motorbikes dogs everything yeah it's so nice so driving through and you see all the banana trees and coconut trees and everything it's just it's lovely just back at the hotel apartment place now my back is absolutely broken from sitting on that scooter oh oh they cleaned the they cleaned the room and made the bed so nice so yeah just some me time now to really stretch out and i got a little banana across the road but this is just bliss oh my god it's so peaceful on our way to dinner connor looking lovely show me your outfit do a twirl <laughs> Made it to clinking. So beautiful. So there's a whole staircase the whole way down, and um, we're gonna go down onto the beach. This is so steep. Really gotta take your time. <laughs> The steps have ended. Now it's they haven't made it down this far. And now it's all just really uneven broken rock. So quite dangerous but just super slow. Don't you be rushing ahead. We're about halfway down. <sighs> My legs are shaking. It is It's like climbing so down a ladder. Steep. It's like climbing down a ladder the whole way, but it's the steps are just so big. Oh, there's no steps, it's literally just rock. But there was kind of decent enough, like, what do you call that? Like a banister, banister kind of thing. But now it's just sticks the rest of the way. And we still have a good bit down. Our legs are literally shaking. We made it. How are you feeling, Connor? Tired. That was so hard. If I knew it was that hard, there's no way I would have came down. But aren't you no glad way. you are here? Yeah, I know, it's amazing. So beautiful. You're not allowed to go swimming in though because it's too rough and um, the waves are pretty rough what do you see. The camera's not really doing it justice but it's very very rough. Beautiful. Surreal. <laughs> it's hard to fathom how tall that mountain is but 
if you can see there's a little ledge up there well you can't really see it but it's like there that's where we started and you come all the way down crazy Had a nice wee rest, but time to go back up. Are you excited? Tired. <sighs> we're oh just laughing God. now because we're just so messed up. Messed up. Holy crap, that was so tough. And we still have to go up these. We're so far, or we're so near, but so far. <sighs> just what the doctor ordered. Two coconuts, two, two coconuts, two balls of water, and a gorgeous view. Came in for some breakfast, and we smoothie bowls and some eggs. Delish. Ready to go. Hope you find something. And um, he's gone. Never to be seen again. <laughs> he's back. No luck. He didn't see any mantras, but the water looks super beautiful. I've seen a lot of cool fish and like nice coral reefs, but nothing else. Ah oh, well. Glad you done it. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, I'm being a bit of a chicken, I'm just a bit crampy and just, you know what I mean, don't feel like going in today, so Connor took one for the team. Excited. <laughs> we had a great afternoon at Crystal Bay, water is super super beautiful, um, just walking about there. So we spent the afternoon here, done the boat trip and now it's still pretty early, it's only 10 past 2. Yeah, so, so we're gonna go and grab some lunch now because mm. we haven't really eaten at all today. Well, we got a smoothie bowl and some eggs, but that was like at nine o'clock. We've been up since six. So yeah, we'll go and get a nice big lunch now. Um, I think we're gonna go somewhere down near the coast, the other side. Yeah. We were just skidding along and we came across this big swing yeah. into the sea. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> So nice. This place is absolutely beautiful. Look at our table. Oh, <laughs> oh not real. What a view. So pretty. Wow. And it's just 10 past 3, so we're still in time for the brunch menu, which is just what I wanted. Some avocado toast, I think. Food has arrived. It looks so good. Oh my god, that burger looks amazing. We got some banana bread, I got some fruit, coconut cream, and avocado toast. Yum! It's a few hours later. We just chilled by the pool and decided to stay in tonight. So we're just chilling. We ordered some food. I got some nasi garang. Connor got some nasi garang and then some chicken, and I got some. Uh, crispy tempeh so we're just gonna chill here 
for the night and um, this is our last night so we're, we don't know what we're doing tomorrow but I know we're going back to Bali at some stage but for now I'm gonna chill eat our food and watch Netflix Good morning. Good morning. This is our last morning in Nusa Penida. It's a beautiful, bright morning. It rained all night last night as well. It was it's lovely. Rained every night we've been here. It does. It's like come seven o'clock, it just like downpours. But like, no wonder. Look how luscious all the greenery is. It would need it. And uh, we just got breakfast served. It looks so good. It looks class. It does. So Connor got the omelette with some tomatoes. We have some toast and jam, a fruit bowl some dragon fruit juice, coffee, and I got a smoothie bowl. So we're gonna tuck into this and then get packed up and get ready to leave. hours is really chilling my whole body is like aching from yesterday from going down clinking I'm getting scalded getting scalded yeah oh my god the burns are sore the sun here is brutal yeah I've gotten burnt in Dubai a couple times but it doesn't really hurt like it's not stingy yeah. but it feels I don't know. like the rays off the sun here are a lot stronger yeah they must be because we were both really sore with the sunburn so we're really lathering up now for the next couple of days to make sure that doesn't happen. But yeah, we just had breakfast, went up chilled by the pool, rested, and now we came back down. We're all packed up and we're just having a last little cup of coffee before we get um, a transfer down to the port again to go back to mainland. That is us for this vlog. We're gonna wrap it up here. We're moving on now to Semenya. Make sure to go and check out the next one for that. We're staying in a little villa. Um, so we're super super excited about that. Give this video a like and hit the subscribe button and yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one. Bye.